I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's, it's probably not really what you want me to say, is it? Um, I genuinely don't know. Um, I think there's such an awareness of, I suppose, the, the psychology behind how the system is set up. And you're always in front of, you know, and very aware of sort of actually how are people responding to things or how do we get the best out of people? And the software is sort of then adapted to help that. Or there's all, you know, there's there's all that support in the background to kind of go, this is how you could use what you do. And um, I, I, I don't know. Um, I love... I love the fact that there are the very accessible training sessions for people. I think that's a massive, massive benefit. And obviously one of the things that we're also looking to um, utilise later this year. Um, I think that's that's helpful. The webinars that you've brought in, the podcast that, you know, the podcast that Lucinda does, there is so much that just helps really understand I suppose what the system can do what the thinking behind any changes might be um at this time the system does everything I need it to and want it to um or if it's not quite exactly where it needs to be there's the support there from Jane and Lucinda to kind of go well these are the options this is these are what you can think about and as I said earlier we were looking to move completely from the sort of the very very formal achievement conversation to the a much more continuous conversation utilizing the objectives utilizing the feedback and recognition but we were really conscious as part of that process that we still have some managers who don't set objectives properly and who don't necessarily have those regular discussions so we we were you know how we want to do that needs to be staged and there are still things like the Zen, um, Zenith is our, our strengths and our behaviours and our values, which has been built into the achievement conversation. We still want to have access to that information. And if we got rid of that setup, how do we then have that? How do we get that feedback in other ways? Um, and, you know, Lucinda and Jane worked with us to kind of go, these are different ways you could do it. This is what might work. Let's, so at the moment, we're looking at different quarterly touch points. Um, but tiny, tiny things. So one will be about development opportunities. One will be about career aspirations. One will be about feedback and recognition. And one will be about, um, you know, uh, your objectives or what, you know, or it, it's that sort of, it'll be, very, um, on one will be about behaviours. Um, but things that people can pick up easily in between one-to-ones. So, because I, I think there is that sort of, you know, when you kind of go appraisal, everyone goes, oh my, I've got like days to prepare and it's just going to be hideous. And everyone, you know, I, I dread sending out the reminder to people. Um, and that sort of ability to create something that you kind of go, we're trying to create something that's still going to give us the information that we want, still going to give you the opportunity to have the discussions that should be what you want to have. But can we create the the paperwork and the governance side if you want to think of it like that into something that takes five minutes and the quality bit is the conversation that's you know and but we need the bit that you capture on paper but can we capture it really really easily and you have that quality conversation with your manager and that's what we're trying to move to and it's helping us so um so yeah 